afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining this, uh, this Hacker Systems free online lessons. And I would like to welcome uh, Isaac Isha, Andrew, BT2MP Khan, CA59, Chong Git Fong, CB Kong Fit, Nora Akila, SR Robert Chang, SY, and the rest of Hacker Systems team. And thank you very much for your time uh, for today's session. And for these free online lessons, we will focus on how we're going to process the uh, drone images uh, for say that you are doing uh, site surveying, digital site survey uh, using uh, drone images, uh, using drones or any other uh, component uh, machines like uh, building surveyor, digital laser scanning, and Today, we will focus more on uh, software called Recap uh, Pro and Recap Photo, and also how we're going to transfer the data uh, into uh, this. So this is some samples of the things that we'll be going through, uh, which is generated from the drone images. Okay. And uh, let me show you how to get these things done. And before that, let us jump into our website, our homepage. So if you go to our web browser, uh, your web browser and search for acadsystemswith.com okay, and you will find this homepage. In, in here, you will find more information related to our best products, uh, promotions uh, or any flash shares. And now we are running the auspicious design contest. And, and it, it, in this website also, we, you can find out more on the upcoming uh, free online lessons. Uh, for instance, uh, for tomorrow, we will have this Revit and Inventor integrations uh, and also the, on the boring nines on the introduction of the web app, know your project flow with Navis work, create uh, custom template vehicle tracking and so on. And uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to drop the uh, hi Andrew, hi Sibicom. Uh, feel free to end drop uh, drop your uh, questions in the chat box, and uh, our team will uh, answer immediately. And for information, our uh, Cat System has launched this uh, open channel for you to get in touch with us. And if you have anything to ask, any supports that you require. Uh, welcome, MISO. Okay. Uh, open channel. So, for instance, you want to know uh, uh, software pricing, for instance, and our, uh, our technical teams and our sales team will respond to you immediately uh, by using this. And this is the latest way for you guys to, to get in touch with us. Right? Well, and back to the topic today. So let's go with this. So we're going to do the image processing and what we're going to do in short is uh, how we're going to uh, run the photogrammetry processing uh, by using Recap Photo, Recap Photo and then uh, how you're going to generate the, the clock points based on the uh, 3D, aerial 3D models that you created in the Recap Photo and in and you will generate the club points by using recap pro and also how we're going to further doing the models to transfer the models into civil 3d so that 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 is the kind of the workflow that that will is, is that is using by uh, most of the civil surveyors uh, if they are related with uh, digital so doing digital uh, terrain model dtm and this could be one options for you to get the uh, data from the drone images uh, and get it processed. And uh, for the free online lessons, I will show you how to register images to create uh, aerial 3D model. And then I will show you how to convert that aerial 3D model into clock points so that we can have uh, millions or thousands of points created for from the Recap Pro. And then how you can to transfer that clock points into civil 3D and generate surface model in civil 3D. So that could be some, some kind of a simple workflow, but this is going to be very effective because uh, this is uh, a new way for you to you know, deal with 
you know, for digital survey things. Okay, so let me show you how we can get started. Okay, so for instance, this is a recap photo. So in a recap series, we the latest version uh, of recap pro already included recap photo inside. And Recap Pro uh, is, is also included in AC Collections. And if you want to use the Recap Photo, make sure you subscribe to Recap uh, Professional. And also, you, you, could, you, you will need to have to subscribe the uh, AC Collections. Because the reason why, uh, because this Recap Photo requires a cloud drive for you to store your process data before you can convert them into cloud points and so on. So, we have two options here to create 3D uh, based on the uh, images that you got. Uh, you may got, you may get the images from the drones. Uh, um, say that you are having a Phantom 4, uh, Mavic, or any other drones that you are using, and you are capturing images uh, uh, by using them. And also, if you have the building laser laser scanner like Leica BLK 360, if you have the Metapod scanner, you can also scan, uh, register those data in uh, 3D models in a recap photo. So if you want to start with drone images, let's start with uh, creating 3D aerial model. And I have to load a series of images. For instance, this is the images that I, I need to process. Okay. so. You need to at least have uh, 20 images to process. Uh, this is the required by the uh, software. Okay. And then from the images taken from the drone, select everything and click open. Okay. And this is the raw data from the drones. And I will just upload it straight away here and simply click create. We have 34 photos selected. Welcome, KKHA. And then you need to define a project name. So, for instance, you are uh, you're going to be using a uh, name like uh, road uh, R five, for instance. And then, uh, most importantly, you need to have a cloud folder. Welcome, Sengkang. You need to have a cloud project folder. So we have two options here. Is either go to your if you subscribe for AC collections, you will get the after this drive uh, for I, I believe for twenty five gig uh, storage. And it is also option for you to have a beam 360 account beam 3 docs would 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 be would enough would be enough for you to use this but if you don't beam, don't have beam 360 a360 is good enough so i'm I'll, i'm going to choose this a outlet drive here this is incorporated with my account logging into this uh, laptop so i'm going to use this uh, folder you're going to select the folder to store that into data and then you will just select the folder here and then you need to define the output data from these images that you're going to use for instance uh, you would prefer to use this for civil 3d then i will generate the point card 3d so uh, and also if you are using it for geotiff purpose to get it into civil 3d uh, by using geotiff format you can also generate those images in geotiff format and then the target coordinate system is quite important because you need to make sure this coordinate system is aligned with the coordinate systems in civil 3D. Welcome to Chim Lim. Okay, and then uh, we will get this uh, coordination ready. And then uh, the thing is, if you want to use this uh, recap photo, uh, there are tough credits required. So usually for every user or every subscription, uh, it comes with 100 club credits per user. Then if you you want to utilize that club credits, then also usually you will just utilize that 12 credit out of 100. So you can still generate a few uh, more 3Ds by having that 
100 club credits. So, uh, and then you can start to process, to let them process the images and generate the 3D model. Okay, and this kind of processing here, okay, and it's going to take a while. I was doing this for this small area, uh, the time like around 10 minutes to 15 minutes, but it's okay. So now I have prepared the same uh, content uh, for the project for the next step. So for instance, I'm, I'm going to load the model. The model is completed. So what you can do is uh, you can click at this uh, cloud project uh, folder here and view the file. Okay, and this is the things that you will be getting once the images has been processed. So you will get this .rcm uh, to be used in the Recap Pro. And also you can see there is a RCS file uh, here. And also it comes with FBX, OBJ, and if. So say that we're going to use this uh, RCS. Okay? And I'm going to export this uh, into uh, the folder. And you have to export this. And once you export this sync with locals, then you will be getting this uh, folder. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is from my cloud drive. So I'm going to export this uh, to save it local. And then I'm going to store it in my folder for today. Okay. And select folder. And once you, 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 you select the folder, then it will store all the exported data in, uh, in this particular folder. Okay. For now, I'm going to cancel it down. Okay. And then uh, to view the models in uh, this uh, recap photo, uh, this you have to click these uh, models that has been loaded into your computer. And this is the models created from the images that I showed you earlier. Okay. If you zoom in detail, it, it is quite precise, but I believe uh, the drone is, uh, the impacts of uh, different drones is going to show a different output, uh, different quality, but it's still good enough. Uh, as long as uh, we have target on what you're going to do with this file. For instance, I want to process or get data of this uh, road area and some, some area on this. Okay. And then uh, the rest will not be used. Uh, I'll just focus on this road. And I'm going to import this, export this road into Civil 3D. Okay. And to move further on testing the club points uh, because now it's, it's in, still in the uh, 3D aerial format. So I'm going to open up the uh, Recap Pro. In this Recap Pro, you have to open the RCP or RCS file generated from the Recap photo. So let me open. Okay. And so this one is the This one is the RCP file, and you have to click open for this. Okay, and now uh, by default, it will eventually delete the uh, the area of shadows, okay? and uh, you will get this points. If you zoom in, okay, all the images has been converted into clock points. Okay, so if you uh, but you should know that having cloud point is mean it means that uh, welcome CCW. It means that you have to deal with millions of or thousands of uh, points uh, digitally. Okay, and uh, these points will be processed. Say that you want to only get you you just need to uh, include this road area for the models, and the rest of the area can be deleted. So I'm going to select this uh, and I'm going to click it off view here. Okay. Okay, for instance, I'm, yeah, say that you want 
or if you want to do the selection, uh, fencing selection, you can select this area also like this. Okay, and selecting the objects and delete. Welcome, Nastro Safwan. Welcome, Nastro Jasmino. And then I will select this area. I will also need to delete this area for now. Okay. And I will just delete this area and see if there are any other points uh, elsewhere. And if you want to look back in the model, so don't forget to delete the remaining uh, unnecessary point like this, like trees. Okay, and this is uh, what you will get by processing drone images. Uh, everything uh, that is captured from the drone will be converted into 3D. So you need to get it done by a bit of processing here. Okay, so once you get this uh, file ready, uh, it's been cleaned up, so you can always save. Okay. You're going to save this and then uh, you need to, you also need to export is uh, to another RCP format so that uh, say the road. Okay, save this one. Okay, and then uh, yeah, let's go. We are exporting this project uh, to be used in Civil 3D. And the next step is to open up your Civil 3D and see what we can do here. If you go. And before you start, make sure you are using the right template and make sure here the edit drawing settings is uh, properly. Uh, welcome, Azizdin. Okay, uh, Malaysia. Okay. Yeah, say that I'm using the, sorry, not, not here, ML, MRSO. So I'm doing this one, apply, click OK, and then now you are ready to insert the uh, data from the Recap Pro. So if you go to the Insert menu and find the Attached Clown Pod here, you can see this one and uh, see there is a file that I already generated from Recap Pro uh, and go back to the uh, here and click Open. Okay, I'll just keep it default like this. Okay. And this is the uh, points uh, generated from the Recap Pro. And, and this is this is what makes things different uh, from points and photo images. Okay. And now you, it's easier, a lot easier for you to process, uh, generate the surface because you already have the points and the surface will, will all, only generate uh, whatever points that you have here. And say that you want to generate the points uh, based on this, uh, uh, sorry, you, if you want to generate the surface based on the clock points here, you can just go to uh, home, surface, menu, uh, go to create surface, and then find the create surface from point cloud. Okay, and then uh, give them the style here, a bit of style. You can give it your custom name if you want to. And now we will know that there are 267,000 plus uh, points uh, that will be processed. Okay. And then say that we want to try to create surface. Uh, and it's going to take a few seconds for processing the clock points in the background. Uh, in the meantime, you can also do anything. And then for those who just joined uh, these free online lessons, uh, we've got quite a crowd here today. Uh, thank you guys for, for joining this. 
And for those who, who missed the earliest part of this session, uh, free online lessons, uh, you can always watch back in our uh, YouTube channel and Facebook page. We are running it live now. Okay, and then I'm gonna click close. And now the surface is generated. So uh, the clock points, you can keep it there, or if you want to view the surface, you can click the object viewer. Okay, and this is the surface uh, that you generated. And this process requires uh, good processing, must require good uh, processing uh, computer uh, with high processor and also good graphics to, to display this. Okay, so that is how you're going to process uh, drone images into uh, points and then we we'll convert them into civil 3D surface model. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, okay, uh, we've got a question from Andrew. Uh, the drone can be any type of drone, as long as the drone can capture all the photogrammetry, uh, not just flying videos, uh, having a flying through model uh, videos. Uh, flying, flying through videos is, is not going to be helpful on this workflow. Uh, just to make sure that the, 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 the drone's camera can capture uh, and run the photogrammetry process. And it requires the system in, in the drone itself to, to auto running, the, the, to auto flying the drones according to the grid uh, stated on the areas uh, that we set. And what is the max file size for this image? Uh, I believe for the authors has not mentioned any max file yet, but uh, I will get it checked with uh, authors regarding this. But of course there are limitation. Uh, every software has their own limitation on the file size and it, it, it just makes sense. Uh, I will get it back to you, uh, Mr. Robert Chai. Okay. okay. Is there any other questions? For all of the software that I showed to you earlier, uh, can be assessed through the subscription of the AEC collections uh, in 2021. Uh, you are not just getting Revit, you also got the Civil 3D, you got the Recap Pro, which includes uh, Recap Photo inside, and also you, you, get, you will get the 25 gig of cloud storage uh, in Autodesk Drive. And if if you only purchase Recap Pro, you may be, you may not be getting uh, cloud storage, and also uh, you also need to purchase uh, Civil 3D for further detailing the, the drawing. So why not go for the AC collections? You will get better value for your uh, product, uh, for your workflow. Okay, so if uh, while waiting for the question, let me run. Uh, the post today, the post for today. So I'm just going to have a background checking. So what is your background? So we've got many civil engineers uh, joining us today. So hopefully this uh, knowledge uh, will be applicable for you, especially for if you haven't start with any survey works yet, uh, if, if let's say you want to do a early or prelim design stage uh, while waiting for the surveyors to come up with uh, you know a detailed uh, survey data or raw data, you can have a drone uh, flying to get the area uh, to study the area and site context analysis on the site's area. Uh, but of course, you still need the data raw data from the surveyors. Uh, that is, is why uh, we still need surveyors to run the total station and so on. Okay, but while doing a prelim design, uh, you will see this is going to be very, very helpful for those who, who still uh, who are doing designs, uh, early stage design. So can we assign, uh, Andrew asking, can we assign each product in the circulations to different persons? So, if you have a 10 seats of AAC collections, then you can assign only for 10 a different percent. But if you have one, you can only assign to one uh, email or one user for, even though you already, you purchase a circulation that includes all this software, 
Okay, and uh, yes, that's the answer. Only one user is assigned to one subscription of ASA collection. So that's, uh, I, I believe that's uh, clear enough for you to understand how this subscription works. But if you don't, if you're still not clear with how, how uh, after the subscription works, you can always get in touch with us. Uh, our sales team, we are uh, more than ready for to assist you uh, to answer every single question. So that's pretty much the uh, sessions for today. That I believe, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Okay, we can see there are many civil engineers today. Okay. And if we don't have any more questions, uh, I would like to say uh, thank you. I hope you are satisfied with this online lesson. Please answer this uh, survey. Uh, if, I hope you're satisfied with this free online lessons and you will be able to use what you have learned from our online lessons. And please recommend uh, these sessions to all your colleagues, to all your um, friends and families, to for whoever interested to learn anything about Autodesk products. We are here to help you further. Okay, thank you very much for, for your time. Okay. And thank you for the answer. I'm glad that you are satisfied and able to use what we have learned and recommend this to your friends. Okay, so uh, if there is nothing else, so I would like to say thank you to uh, Isaac Isaac, Andrew, Aziz Dane, B2, BT2MP Khan, CA59, CCW, Chong Yit Fong, TV Kong, Feed, Ken Seng Eng, Q Chuan Lim, Minisu, Nashul, Nor Akila, Sir. That's so Robert Chang, SY, and the rest of ACAT systems for joining these free online lessons. And uh, if you missed the, the earliest parts, always you can always go to uh, our Facebook page. If you do not know where to find our Facebook page and YouTube channel, you can always go to our homepage and find the link of Facebook page and our YouTube channel here. So happy learning. So hope to see you guys again in the upcoming sessions. Thank you very much. Bye.